Hello, I'm gonna be show <coughs> I'm gonna be showing you some uh, Scooby Doo multi movie packs today, as well as some uh, recent titles that came out. This one, I believe, came out in I want to say 2017. I believe this is one of the newer ones. Um, Scooby Doo Batman Brave and the Bold. Uh, it features the villains um, Joker and uh, Harley Quinn and ones like that. It's done pretty well. It's a good. It's a, it's, oh, sorry about that. It's a good crossover. It also features um, the vintage uh, episodes, the, the dynamic Scooby Doo affair, and the Cape and Crusader caper. Uh, also, Batman from the uh, new Scooby movie series of the early '70s. So definitely get this one. And <clears throat> next one is uh, Scooby Doo's. Shaggy Showdown, which is a, like Western style, and it also has some bonus stuff on it. Uh, new Scooby movies: The Ghastly Ghost Town with the Three Stooges, um, Scooby Doo Where Are You, Mind Your Own Business, and Richie Rich Scooby Doo Show, Scooby Ghosts West. So, this is uh, another really well done one that came out. Well, I don't know when that came out. <laughs> Yeah, the, they both came out within the last couple of years, but they're both really done well. As you can see, they have very, very nice outer casing. Anyway, those are the recent, more recent titles. So let's get into the uh, multi-movie packs. This first one features Scooby-Doo, Frank and Creepy, Scooby-Doo, uh, Moon Monster Madness, and Chill Out Scooby-Doo, which is the oldest one of the three. They're all really good uh, films. Uh, my, fa my personal favorite out of this one, if I had to pick just one, would be the Frank and Creepy one. Yeah, it's really done well. Well, I mean, they're all really done well. These are, these are a great space saver if you don't want to get them individually. And uh, instead of taking up three spaces on your shelf, you only take up one. Remember, <clears throat> here's a uh, four pack. Oh, that's right, I put that in there. <laughs> um, Scooby Doo and the Goblin King, which is a newer one. Uh, it's another one that Tim Curry vo voices a character in. He also did in the uh, Witch's Ghost one as well. And uh, also Wayne Knight and Jay Leno, James Belushi have uh, voices in it as well. So. Um, Scooby Doo and the Ghoul School is an older one where the uh, mon monsters are real, as well as the Reluctant Werewolf. So, those are two of the best ones ever made, along with uh, Gamba King, which is really good. Monster of Mexico is a early 2000s one, I believe. That one is pretty good, too. Um, <clears throat> these are all good movies. Uh, you can get this for about $9.99, I think, at Walmart. Uh, this is my more recent one. Features uh, Scooby Doo and the Legend of the Vampire, which is a uh, late 90s, early 2000s one. Scooby Doo, Where's My Mummy? I'm not as familiar with that one. Samurai Sword, uh, don't think I've gotten to that one yet. And Phantasaur is pretty good. Um, this is uh, came from like about the same price, $9.99 if I'm Amazon. Again, it's a space saver. So, just by getting these three multi-movie Scooby-Doo packs, instead of taking up 13 uh, spots on your shelf, if you're a Scooby-Doo fan, you can only it only takes up three. So that's a great space saver. And the last thing I want to address here is uh, 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo. Everybody's probably familiar with this one. This is a TV series that they had in the 80s with uh, Vincent Price's Vincent Van Gogh. Now the reason I uh, bring this up is because they did a uh, follow-up movie. It's called the Scooby-Doo and the Curse of the 13 Ghosts. Now the problem with that is every, possibly, every possible mistake that they could make with it, they made. Okay, if you're familiar with the original series, I don't have to tell you that 
you know, the ghosts in it were real, Vincent Van Gogh was real, okay. Now, spoiler alert. What ha what happens in the movie, they ruin, at the end of the new movie, they ruin all that. The ending completely kills it, and it just, it's better off avoided. Uh, I was lucky to, uh, sell it to somebody to get my money back that I paid for it. Because, uh, I had a friend that didn't have it yet, that, you know, doesn't care about those things. But... It really ain't worth watching. I mean, stick with the original uh, series of the 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo with Vincent Price. Another thing that they could have done with the movie that they didn't was with technology today, you can uh, do a lot of different things. And what they could have done was taken Vincent's voice and rearranged the words to say what they wanted him to say instead of using what they claim as a sound alike. Okay, that guy didn't sound much like Vincent Price. I mean, there was a couple lines where he was fairly close, but yeah, it just it was wasn't very good. But that's the only reason I bring that up. Uh, was, I, I had high uh, hopes for it when I heard it was coming out, but well they executed it the wrong way and I mean uh, they left out uh, the main ghost characters uh, Bogle and Weird I think was the guy's name and I forget let me see let's see yeah, it doesn't say but it doesn't say but <clears throat> another uh, major problem is the absence of Scrappy. Now, a couple of facts for you. The director of the live action movie in 2002 left out Scrappy because of a f personal vendetta against him. Well, I'm sorry, didn't leave him out, but might as well have left him out because he made him the villain. Okay. That's why that movie didn't really make much sense. And, uh, that right there is like why some things just don't work as live action. And, uh, a lot of people are excited for, like, this live action Lion King and live action Dumbo. It's, gonna, it's like, not me. <laughs> it's like, I'll stick with the old stuff, thank you. Um, <clears throat> but, getting back to that, I mean, this, this personal vendetta against Scrappy is, it's gotten, it's gotten to the point where, it's like he's not as hate hated, and you're just like you're you're doing what they're trying to do with everything else right now in this country or or the world, even. You're trying to erase history, and there's nothing wrong with Scrappy at all. Could he be a little annoying at times for a character? Yeah, but we're lying to ourselves if we think that characters like Velma and Fred didn't get annoying sometimes too, especially with Know It All Velma. I mean, come on. But, you see, there is a way to fix this if they really wanted to do a, a real follow-up to the series. But, you know, I doubt that they would do it the right way, so maybe they just better uh, stick with what they've been doing. Um, the other new one that came out recently that I saw... Uh, the Scooby-Doo movies was uh, Scooby-Doo and the Gourmet Ghost. It wasn't bad, but just it, compared to the other two that recently came out, the Batman one and the uh, Showdown one that I showed you early in the video, it they were pretty lackluster. It was pretty... I mean, is it above the uh, Curse of the Thirteen Ghost one? Yeah, it definitely is. I guess it's worth it if you can pick it up for a couple bucks. But as far <clears throat> as far as paying full price for it, it ain't worth it. But the Curse of the Thirteen Ghost one ain't worth it at all. I was really disappointed with that. I can't believe that that especially the ending. I mean the ending was downright stupid. But you know. 
opportunity wasted, I guess. I mean, if you read the reviews on Amazon, I know some people actually like it. Well, that's because some people probably aren't familiar with the series, honestly. They just see something on uh, the Netflix or whatever, and they go, oh. Not knowing that it's supposedly connected to some something else, but... Um, <clears throat> another mistake the uh, movie made was they made uh, Daphne look like a wimp. And it... They basically... Uh, said... She, at one point she said she's not cut out to be a leader and all this other stuff. It's like... I was like, well, I was like, well, that's it. Then every possible mistake you could make in this movie you made. The only redeeming factor, I think, is that I think it has a couple episodes from the original this series on it as a bonus. But why would you need that? You could just buy their series and and uh, not worry about the movie. But. Anyways, check out these multi-movie packs. There's a uh, few more on the way. They're supposed to be released next month, I think it is. It should be noted that uh, a couple of them may have movies that are already on previously released ones. But uh, you'll have that even with big companies like Warner Brothers, which owns Scooby-Doo. So. Um, some other news, they are releasing... Uh, an almost complete collection of the new Scooby movies. Now, the one that's missing, of course, is the Adams Family one. And that's because uh, Charles Adams' estate won't give up the rights to get that one released. But the weird thing is that they let uh, them release the Adams Family cartoon series from the 70s, which is in the same time period. And uh, the Scooby-Doo episode is actually what helped launch that series. Because when they saw Scooby-Doo with the Adams Family, they asked for more animated Adams Family stuff. People wanted more, so they, Hanna-Barbera gave them more. But and that the Scooby-Doo episode wasn't even a bonus on the... I mean, the DVDs are made on... The Adams Family ones are made on demand anyways, so they're basically burned DVDs, but not even a bonus on there so it's like it's like I was thinking of getting the the series but it's like if it's still not complete then what's the point if it's still missing an episode I mean it's not I, I know it says almost complete on it but it's not the same thing especially since I'm very I'm very familiar with that Adam's Family Scooby-Doo episode Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I haven't been, well, it's probably been about, a, um, I don't know, a couple months since I've done an actual video. I've done a couple of music ones, but I've had this, this microphone for a while now, and I haven't really made any videos. I'm sorry about that. Um, I want to do probably another, uh, like uh, some more other movie review ones at some point soon. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this uh, Scooby Doo one, and uh, I did a couple other uh, Scooby ones talking about Scooby Doo. So if you uh, like this one, be sure to check those out. Thanks for watching, and thanks for subscribing. Take care.